New York City has a brand new super tall skyscraper, but it's not where you might expect it. You see, New York City is famous for its famous landmarks and towering skyscrapers, and Manhattan has been the top borough for over a hundred years. But now, there's a new skyscraper rising up in Brooklyn, and it's quickly becoming one of the most eye-catching structures on the Brooklyn skyline. Why Brooklyn? Well, living in Manhattan is super expensive, and there's not much land left. So in 2004, Brooklyn decided to make some changes to the rules to allow bigger buildings. That decision has made Brooklyn attractive to developers, businesses, and people looking for a place to live. They're all coming to be a part of the landmark tower project that's going to change how Brooklyn looks. This new skyscraper is a bit like Brooklyn's version of the Empire State Building. It's famous for its special black and stainless steel, copper, and bronze exterior. It even includes a 115-year-old bank that was already on the site. Join us today as we dive into this new mega project and discover all the exciting details. But before we get started, Make sure to click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It's the best way to show your support. Introducing Brooklyn Tower. In Brooklyn, there's a new super tall tower that's getting a lot of attention. It's a really big building with 93 stories and it's 1,066 feet tall. This tower is special because it's the first super tall building in Brooklyn. In fact, it's the tallest building in Brooklyn and the tallest building in all of New York City outside of Manhattan. To give you an idea of how tall it is, the next tallest building in Brooklyn, the nearby Brooklyn Point condo, is almost 350 feet shorter than this Brooklyn Tower. That's like the height of the Statue of Liberty, plus a few small houses, stacked on top of each other. The Brooklyn Tower is located in downtown Brooklyn, near Fort Greene Park. It looks like something out of a Marvel Studios movie, with its majestic design, sharp edges, and a shiny gold exterior. This big building will have places for people to live and over 100,000 square feet of stores and shops at the bottom. It's also special because it includes the historic Dime Savings Bank. This bank building was built in 1906 and it expanded in 1931. The bank was sold in 2014 and they built the Brooklyn Tower next to it as an addition. The bank is a very important and special building and now its beautiful inside serves as a place for the people who live in the Brooklyn Tower to shop and enjoy themselves. Construction The Brooklyn Tower's construction started in 2018, and it was built by the JVS Development Group. It cost around $750 million to make, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic in New York City, the building took about four months longer to finish. By November 2020, the core of the building was 28 stories high and it reached its halfway point in April 2021. By July 2021, the Brooklyn Tower was already over 721 feet tall, making it the tallest building in Brooklyn. In February 2022, they finished putting the outside on the upper floors where people live, and by February 2023, the very top of the skyscraper was done. It finally reached its full height in March 2023. However, the special black and bronze outside of the building was only recently finished, some people think this super tall skyscraper is a beautiful addition to the Brooklyn skyline, but not everyone likes it. Some folks gave it a low rating, saying its unique shape and dark color give off a bad feeling. This has made some people compare the building to Sauron's Dark Fortress, a tower in Peter Jackson's movies based on the Lord of the Rings books. The tower's outside is covered in this black and bronze material. Design and Architecture The Brooklyn Tower's outside is made of stone, bronze, and stainless steel. It has a unique design with hexagonal shapes all over it. The design of the Dime Savings Bank building inspired the tower's design, especially the hexagonal shape in the bank's hall. The tower was designed by Shaw Architects. The skyscraper has black and stainless panels that go from the top of the tower down to where it meets the preserved Dime Savings Bank, which is part of the tower's base. Along the sides of the tower, there are bronze and copper pillars that give a detailed look. The tower looks a bit like it's staggered because of its hexagonal shape. This means that you can see at least two sides of the tower at all times, unlike rectangular or square buildings that only show one or two sides. This design is a nod to older Art Deco skyscrapers like the Chrysler Building and Rockefeller Center. The hexagonal plan means that the rooms inside the tower have corners that are at 130 degrees instead of the usual right angles. The bottom part of the tower is covered in stone to match the bank, and as it goes up, the outside becomes darker. 
The Brooklyn Tower has a wider bottom than many of its super tall buildings because of the strong winds in Brooklyn. Integrating the historic Dime Savings Bank into the base made it even bigger. This wider base makes the tower get narrower as it goes up. The base of the tower is made of white marble, which is like the bank's look. The tower also has special floors that let heavy things move through without making the whole building shake. Inside, the Art Deco design of the Dime Savings Bank has inspired many parts of the tower's public spaces. Elements like the hexagonal shapes, patterns, and fancy materials from the bank have influenced how the inside of the tower looks. Unique Features The residential skyscraper has over 500 places for people to live. There are about 150 condos and 425 rental apartments in the tower, and they add up to around 466,000 square feet. The condos, which are on the 53rd floor and higher, range in price from $875,000 for a studio to $8 million for a four-bedroom place. Importantly, 30% of the rental apartments in the building will be affordable housing. All the places to live have a cool Art Deco design, which is inspired by the Dime Savings Bank's architecture. The building also has about 120,000 square feet of spaces for people to enjoy, and some of these are in the Dime Savings Bank. There are multiple entrances to the building, one from the street and another through the renovated bank, which is now a place for shops and people to walk around. On the terrace around the special Guastavino design dome, there are three swimming pools. One is a long lap pool for adults, another is for kids, and there's a whirlpool, which is like a big hot tub. Plus, there's a hammock lounge and an outdoor eating area. The Sky Park on the 66th floor is really unique. It has a basketball court way up high, so it looks like the players are floating in the air. This is the highest basketball court anywhere in the world, not counting how high it is above the ground. There's also a place for dogs to run around, an outdoor playground, and a rooftop park. There will be even more cool things like a movie theater, a gym, a game room, a playroom for kids, and spaces for people who work from home. Everyone living in the building can use these amenities, except for the Sky Lounge on the fifth floor, which is only for the condo owners. So this Brooklyn Tower has a lot to offer. Benefits of the Skyscraper The Brooklyn Tower is special because it's the first skyscraper in Brooklyn that can really compete with the tall buildings in New York City. It's also the first super tall building outside of Manhattan. This might inspire more similar projects in Brooklyn, especially as the cost of living in Manhattan gets higher and people start looking for places to live in Brooklyn. These new projects will be good for businesses and people living in downtown Brooklyn, which is a neighborhood that's getting better. It's something to be proud of that Brooklyn is now part of New York City's skyline with its tall buildings. This new tower is going to change the way the Brooklyn skyline looks for a long time. What do you think about this skyscraper? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support means the world to us. See you in the next video.